welcome to Code Rush Feature of the Week. So Mark, what have we got this week? This week I'm going to show you the visual toggle buttons up here on the uh, Code Rush toolbar inside of Visual Studio. Okay, cool. Uh, by the way, it's this one right here, Code Rush Visualize. If we turn this off, there it goes, it goes away. We bring it back up here, Code Rush Visualize. It's these group of buttons, actually a subset of these buttons that turn on and off um, visualizations inside the editor. Okay. The first one over here on the left is show member icons. So we'll click this to enable it and you can see these icons are showing up here that indicate both the type of member, for example, this symbol here indicates that this member is a method mm -hmm. and its visibility. You can see a tiny little padlock down here off to the side. And this is a property that's private. So you can get a at a glance picture of what's going on here. That's the symbol for a field right there. Mm -hmm. The member icons also uh, give you access to a menu. So you can, for example, uh, if you click on the member icon, you can very quickly change visibility. And uh, you can also come in here and move a particular piece to a region, move a method or member to a region, uh, and just select one of the uh, regions uh, that you've got inside of here. Uh, actually, I want to actually move this uh, over to the Blasto Magic region instead. Um, Fair enough. Because this is part of my Blasto Magic that I'm creating for this application. <laughs> so, so that th those are member icons. The next one over is structural highlighting. So let's click that to enable that. And you can see we've got a, a line drawn right here. And oh, yeah. uh, these lines, as the code gets more and more nested here, let me demonstrate uh, by. Uh, creating a, a try finally block and then maybe inside of here uh, creating another block of code here if uh, true then uh, that and so now we can start to see the lines that are drawn between uh, the different blocks of code that are sure there. yeah and they give you kind of a visual indicator of where you are they're sometimes useful if you've got really big uh, blocks of code and you want to get a sense of wait where does this end and it just spans off the screen um, in other yeah. words, something, something like this, right? Imagine all code in here in the middle. Yep. So they're sometimes useful in that scenario. Um, they're also useful um, for lining things up. If you, uh, uh, for example, if you are the kind of person who wants these to be indented at the same level and they're not, uh, for example, um, you want to be able to get some sort of indicator of that. And sure. uh, let's bring up the options for this so we can see what's uh, inside here for structural highlighting. And so uh, if we say connect with a diagonal line right here in terms of enabling the structural highlighting, now we'll see a diagonal line, which totally pops out if something is not lined so, up. So yeah, right? that's a really good visual clue. That's going to be quite obvious as you're scrolling past. Right. Uh, that, that's not quite right, is it? Right, and so that's what's going on there. That may be a useful option to you. However, if this is your style, then a diagonal line doesn't make sense in my opinion. It's just obscuring the code, in mm -hmm. which case uh, you want to choose a, a single vertical line probably. It's the cleanest. Um, there's also another option, horizontal and vertical lines, um, which would basically draw a line from here to here and then down. So you'd get some sort of connection like that. Sure. But that's kind of what we're getting there. It shows you that this is the end of this if block and this is the end of this try block. That's structural highlighting. Over here is a region painting. So we have a region down here called uh, creation right here. Let's turn on region uh -huh. painting and we'll take a look at that. And so now that I've done that, you can see it gets rid of some of that visual noise here. The region keyword, the end region keyword, those go away. Uh, if I put the carrot inside here, they come back, right? So I can, yep. uh, I can enable, I can edit them if I wanted to, edit the text here. That's that sort of thing, whatever I want to say here. Um, it's just like I'm normally editing, editing the code. And, uh, and so if I move away from that, you can see that it is, uh, it's painting that code uh, like this. By the way, there are options for region painting. Um, there it is right there, region painting. Uh, and I can select different styles of painting the regions. Uh, and here's an example right here what that looks like. Uh, and there are more subtle styles as well for the region painting. 
Sure. So it's a nice visual effect to, to grab your attention, show you here's where this block is, or, or actually from another perspective, in the other style, it, it actually fades it a little bit. So again, it doesn't get in your way. And in either case, we're not altering in any way your ability to affect these regions, to change their naming, what have you. Right. As soon as you roll onto that, it's back to standard editing, roll away again, back to the painted version. Nice right. and smooth. Right, right. No, definitely. And so um, and so that's that's very, very cool with regards to um, what's here. And the options are, you know, depending on what you want, if regions are something you want to watch out for and you're looking at somebody else's code, you, you definitely want to consider highlighting them with these arrows. Um, if uh, there's something you use all the time, maybe you want something a little more subtle, like the first view, uh, look that we had. Sure. The last thing I want to show you are the metrics, the metrics option right over here. So show metrics. If I click that, you can see uh, the metrics are starting to appear here at the end. By the way, if I turn off uh, member icons, you'll notice the metrics jump over here to the beginning of the line. So normally we'll show things at the beginning, uh, but if there's not room, we'll put them at the beginning and the end like that. Sure. Um, so these are metrics, and if we click on this, we can see which of the different metrics are being used. We've got cyclomatic complexity, line count, and a maintenance complexity. Um, this is my favorite metric. It's actually a metric we created here at DevExpress that, <laughs> yes. um, that gives you a very detailed count of how complex um, the code is. Uh, we come up over here, you can see we've got it, we're at a 64 for this block of code right here. Uh, and over here, we're at a 42. Uh, this one is 42. So instead of um, looking at uh, how many conditional blocks in, are inside it, uh, cyclomatic complexity—that's what cyclomatic complexity does, which is useful if you're one if you're if you're thinking about code coverage, right? How many paths do I have to cover sure, yeah. through my tests? That's a useful metric as well. But this is a me metric of of just how much code is in there. And so everything is counted. Now it doesn't, it, we don't count the number of characters in an identifier, but we will count that it's a, an identifier and it's qualified reference. And we'll count that we're creating a new instance of something here and we've got parameters sure. we're passing to it. So everything has got a point value to it. Uh, and, uh, and we add everything up and we get you a number like this. So if you're seeing numbers uh, in here that are over 100, uh, you might seriously be thinking about wanting to refactor that and drop that method down to make yeah. it something more simple than it is. And that's it, Rory. Those are the th the okay. four uh, buttons I wanted to show you up here on the Code Rush Visualize Toolbar. Okay, so just to quickly go over those again, we've got show member icons, which is going to allow you to put an icon just at the front of each of the methods or the members to change the uh, visibility uh, of the scope of those those items, or also to potentially move the uh, item into and out, or sorry, directly into uh, regions, which is quite useful. We have uh, structural highlighting, very useful feature, particularly when you're looking at somebody else's code, right? Because we don't advocate, advocate huge long methods, but again, you're going to come across them every now and again, and it really does help to sort of show how things align with each other and maybe just how complex it is. Ties in with metrics again as well, which will give you a good idea how complex things are, how, how in need of a bit of a refactoring that is. And what was the fourth one there, Mark? Region painting. Region painting. Of course, subtle as it is, um, region painting just designed to make those regions easier to deal with, make them stand out or indeed fade away, depending on your configuration and your preferences. None of this gets in the way. All of this is completely optional, toggleable at any point from the visualize toolbar at the top there. And that's it. Thank you very much, Mark. We'll see you next week on Code Rush Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.